<laughs> What's up, folks? Uh, <laughs> I'm Ken Liddell, man. Right, cuz, bro, that shit's stupid. <laughs> right, look, I'm Ken Liddell, man. And welcome to uh, the latest episode of the Nirvana Experience. Uh, We got Jay Jamal back again for his monthly show. Uh, You know how you like to take over. So what's, what's up, going man? on, nerds, nerd it's and everyone in between? I am your co-host, Jay man. Jamal. Yeah. And this is season three, episode three of T and Ne. Yeah, you like you, 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 that shit, then you, you want to speak in this shit. That man, that man, that man drunk ahead just like fucking Cody and Jay Wood last night. Bro, don't fall to so turn, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, don't fall to We got big gold. Let's drink. Yeah. <laughs> What's crazy? This shit ain't even gold. This shit still, but you know what I mean. Yeah, but uh, I still call that shit gold. I, the reason why we was tripping in the very beginning of the episode, uh, because we were talking for each other about five minutes before we even started this shit, but uh. I was telling him about I just had a fight on MK, and uh, I just learned some new shit right with Scorpion because I'm I'm a Scorpion man, Scorpion player. Switched out my cameo to Serena. I just started tripping. I said all I gotta do is kick, kick, assist, then I get twenty percent damage. Man, <laughs> I'm like, man. yeah, I love this shit. I'm, I'm so yeah, tired of yeah, you can do it twice shit. in one combo. I'm like, hell yeah, yeah, I love this shit. Man. But uh. Yeah, that's uh, what's that gonna be? What are we gonna talk about that in the show? I probably was. I mean, we might as well. Shit. Let's go start yeah. off just talking about MK since we just popped on this. Right. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about Mortal Kombat currently, right now. So, what we're gonna call this segment, this the good, bad, and ugly of MK1. Yeah, right, look, so look, the main, the, the main thing I hate about Mortal Kombat right now, as far as like mechanics and like gameplay with the, with the characters and the cameo. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers see somebody do something one time with Barack and Cyrex, and it should work. And not everybody playing with Barack and Cyrex. I'm so tired of fighting that combo, bro. And Cyrex get on my fucking nerves because he do all that damn chip damn. I'm like, damn, I'm finna die. And Ooh. every time I see Barack and uh, Cyrex, I get upset every time. <laughs> every single time. Because <laughs> both of them niggas just fight forever. Fool. They the most beginner friendly team, bro. Like, Man. Fool, the chip damage Cyrex do, bro, is fucking it, it unnecessary. But that shit do like a damn a regular ass normal combo. Like you hit fucking a triangle, circle, square, or something like that. They do that damage. That's all chip damage. I'm like, this shit stupid. Then on top of that, not only I'm tired of seeing Cyrex. So this is how the meta is in Mortal Kombat One right now, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Everybody playing with the same characters. Yeah, as far as cameos. They either yeah. have Frost, Serena, yeah. or Cyrex. Bruh, I don't see nobody using Scorpion Assist, especially since I'm higher up in the rank, uh, ranks and ranks. I don't see nobody using no Scorpion Assist. I don't see nobody using Sub-Zero Assist, because that's what the Assist I use now. Yeah. I mainly see Serena and Cyrex. What's Those your rank on line? Uh, I just ranked up to Grandmaster. God damn, I just ranked up the master. Like before yeah, we started yeah. the podcast. <laughs> yeah, Chris may ranked up the master too. And when we became the same rank, I was like, nah, I don't want to be the same rank as this guy. And I ranked up. Uh, what about your profile? Cause my profile, like, hey, I only think this shit matter, honestly. No, nah, it don't matter, but my profile level uh 92. Damn. When yeah. I st- when I started doing that uh that uh farming shit that you had show, I was like, damn, yeah, that shit yeah, is all my shit that go up. Bro, that farming shit, bro. That, that's the, the good shit going. Like, if you just want to like unlock all the palettes for your characters and cameos and shit. Mm-hmm. You want to get XP. Man, that's the best Man. way to do it. Cause I'm one shot there. They just blowing up and shot like, damn. Love this shit. I know. You. <laughs> when I did that farm shit, bro, I did this shit the whole, for one whole day. For That's why I told you. I went from like rank 25 to Master and Scorpion one day. I said, hell yeah. Man, Got all these palettes. Shit. I'm going to do this yeah. shit. I'm going to do this shit. But, uh, uh, yeah, as far as the, what I hate about MK, man, uh, Shit, I hate a lot of shit, to be honest with you. I like a lot of shit, too. Because, man, the game is it's obviously rushed, bro. Like, man, they could have just waited till next year to drop his joint, and that joint would have been, like, fully 
or at least way better than what it is. Like, let's start off like online, for example. You can't even filter out the connection between Wi Fi and uh, you know, Ethernet. Now, that shit you can't, is even, pra- you can't even practice while you waiting in the lobby and stuff like that. And uh, what else I hate about this joint? Well, we all know about the infamous bug they had to get patched about the player two side. So man. to even do that on lunch and folks had tournaments and lost money and all type of stuff, man, it's just wild, bro. Man. Uh, what else I don't like about this shit? My invasions got so many bugs, bro. It don't make no sense. I barely do that mode because it's so boring. It is boring, but I, just for one reason. I mean, not one reason, but one day I just wanted to cave that whole in and just man, level up. That's why. That's how I figured out that farming shit. And uh, uh, what else I don't like about? Oh yeah, it got glitches and bugs. Cause like when I'm walking around with Scorpion, it's a little scythe. That just just floating in the air for no damn reason. <laughs> not like just attached to his body like all stiff and shit. Uh, and, uh, yeah, man. And uh, what else I don't like about this shit? All them towers. I mean, I know this shit ain't necessary to complete or whatever like that, but way too many fucking towers and invasions. Like they could have. Oh, something else I, I super don't like about MK Innovations. Test your might. It's fucking pointless. Like, you don't even get rewarded. Like, you get XP for your main character, but you don't get XP for your cameo. Man, that's more like a novelty thing because, like, that's what it was in Mortal Kombat 1. Like, you had your Test your might in there. Oh, okay. You ain't, you ain't get re- rewarded for this shit. No, nah, like, when in, in the first Mortal Kombat game, once you fought, like, two or three people and you go up the mm-hmm. tower, you, uh... You did test your mic. I ain't even, well, they got it in the tower too, but I'm talking about in invasions when you like walking around in them different nodes. You know, you, you walk into a, uh, you land on the test your mic node. And yeah, I know. This shit, they, uh, this shit is pointless because of it. Like, I, beat, I beat all the invasions. I beat Scorpion ass at the end of the It took me like mm-hmm. an hour or two to beat that man there because I ain't know no fucking cheat code. So I had to really fight that man. man that shit took me one try. You got that damn talisman, fire armor. That whole, fool, that whole healed me, and I didn't take no damage. I said, shit, I'm finna whoop this man now. Man, my head don't be using them damn talismans. I've been there straight struggling. I've been selling them hoes. Cause they, man, every fight you do, they it's gonna tough. give you one. Shit. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, overall, like like you said, that game do feel kind of rich, but they've been working on it for about five years. I guess the crazy part. So. Like, yeah, yeah I've been working kind of rich because it's like lackluster compared to like like if you compare it to more to uh, if you compare it to more to come at eleven, like more come at eleven, like but like Phoebe forget back in twenty nineteen when MK eleven came out, it was the same way. Like the game they had him, like it only had a certain amount of character, he had them in the skin, they didn't have none of that shit. The game was vanilla as hell. But like mm-hmm. within the like over the course of the first year, a whole bunch of stuff got added to the game and it didn't feel like that no more. So we in that same win that first day like yeah, I was yeah. with uh MK eleven. But at the same time, you couldn't even you couldn't even train and wait for your fights at the same time more to come at eleven. Like this, like this should be like standard at this point. Cause like every other major fight game will let you go to practice mode. And while you in there practicing and shit, like trying to warm up and remember your combo and shit, you you searching for a fight and shit. So Nether Round, that's the only game that like more to come at the only game that don't Support their feature, and I don't understand why. Yeah, this shit. yeah, because Street Fighter got this shit, and all other shit got that, that simple shit. That just, that what makes the experience better for the mm-hmm. player, for the consumer. Instead of just looking at a damn loading screen. And then when you do get the loading screen, you get somebody with a whack ass connection. And if you do disconnect, you get penalized. So I'm like, man, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. So that's the bad. No. I mean, it's probably more bad. I just, it is something so, I hate. It. Other than that, like, the yeah, good. I mean, it's fun to play. Yeah, that's what I said. The good is it's good to play. You know, with your homies or you know, the online. I mean, the online gonna be what it is. Just poke, you know, poke season. <laughs> but once you get them folks open, shit. Do you man, that man said. Doing the tar, bro. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Am I just drinking the hell? I'm like, man, what the fuck just happened to your? Uh... Can you hear me? It's like you had started talking, then you had one out for a second. I don't know what the fuck. This... Can you like hear me you, now? You going in and out and shit. Like it just started just now. Yeah, I can hear it, but it's like when you talk, you had one in and out. I don't know why. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But uh, uh, uh. That man said you can play that joint with your homies. I don't got no friends when I play that whole fuck. Oh well, shit! I was just man. saying in general. But you know. But, you know. I got no friends. I fight everybody. Oh, shit. But, uh, yeah. 
That whole be long at the top. But yeah, that's, that's Damn. Know, pretty much it with MK1. I mean, they got a whole whole lot of improvement that they're gonna do. And it's gonna be it's gonna be fine once nope. they do do them improvements, like another season and all mm-hmm. that other shit. My thing is yep. I, it's just a random thought I had about with their DLC. But now I think all the DLC is gonna be fighters because I was gonna say, what if they have like Omni Man or Homeland as a cameo instead of a fighter? I'd be too damn mad. No, nah, fool, they got the list. Like they they show you who the cameo and who the fighters for the uh yeah, for the first I just combat. thought about that. I just thought about that. I said, oh no, nah, they they did separate this shit. They had to make sure to separate this shit. Folks gonna ask this shit. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. And uh, so, how you feel about uh, come back from, how you feel about Ghostface possibly being in the game? Man, see, that's cool and all, but what my my is it? I just want to stand there and look menacing and whoop ass. Because yeah, every other major yeah. horror uh character been in the Mortal Kombat game, except for uh what's his name? Michael Myers Michael and Myers. Ghostface. Yeah. I believe Michael Myers should be in there before Ghostface. Just off of Yes. His just off of him. That man like perfect MK. That man hard as hell to kill. That man moves it. That man moves it to be Terminator as hell. No, 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 no. Don't make, don't please do not make that man feel like that, bro. <laughs> had that, bro, bro, had that man he straight jacking doing cold shit. I'm like, oh, perfect. And then that man brutality to be extra perfect. I'm like, man, this man so damn cold. Yeah, man. But other than that, like besides more to come back, like I really didn't have nothing to talk about. I was just gonna, you know, piggyback off what you had, what you had planned to talk about and all that shit. Oh yeah, I take that back. I do got something to talk about. Mm, I do got something to talk about. about. Let's, uh, I got baked, bro. I got baked. Yeah, you. You saw so the thing is, I saw the text you you sent, but I didn't see it. If that makes sense, man. I know. I, like it. I saw it, but I didn't read it because, man, man, they be doing shit. Yeah, I like you got daddy brain, family and shit. Yeah, yeah I, I, bro. Got, I just got my fingers back. Shit. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I couldn't do no damn combos when I first played MK. I'm like, man, my fingers hurting and still some shit. No. Man, like, man, this game ain't wake. I hate you. I need to go back to my combat left. I'm like, man, this man don't shut up, bro. Nah, I'm finna go play <laughs> fucking Fortnite. I don't know. Some easy what shit. the fuck? <laughs> but look, though. I go here, my bad. So you remember when I was telling you I was talking to a girl and shit? I'm like, man, she cool to him. Yeah, shit. I was like, okay, cool. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so you know, I took her on the date and you know, we cool and everything. But she seemed like she was on, you know, on some normal type shit. Mm. Bro, a couple of days ago, whatever day that was, I had sent you that text me just when everything here blew up. I think they were like two so, days ago. All right, so about two days ago, uh, Men hold together and shit. So, you know, uh, we was in the car together at the job. Because, you know, I be working, moving them car shit back and forth from the hub to the airport. Mm-hmm. So, uh, she was in the car with me at the hub, and I had to take the jump to the airport. Mm-hmm. So, me and her talking and shit, I'm like, hey, man. Because, like, I had noticed that, like, all that day she had been, like, kind of standoffish and been different. Mm-hmm. So, I was asking her. I'm like, I'm like, hey, what's going on with you? You straight? Like, like what's, what's up? She was like, nah, I just feel like, nah, what I say? I forgot what I said, and she was like, "No, I just feel like, uh, I just feel like that I need to talk to somebody else." Now, nah, before she said that, I was like, "Man, I've been like, I'm like, you talking to another nigga?" Ain't it? And she was like, "I just feel." Then she was like, "I just, like, I feel like I need to talk to somebody else." I'm like, "What the fuck?" So at this point, we ain't had no work to do. So we at the airport, like all the people at the airport and stuff. I'm in mm-hmm. the coffee room to drop the call, and all my coworkers start standing outside at the airport, and another coworker, uh, Steve, was sitting in the truck. And she was like, I'm talking to her, trying to figure out what's going on. She was like, Corey, stop the car. I'm thinking something happened. I stopped the car. She was like, I gotta go talk to him. This motherfucker literally got the call with me and went over there and got in the car with uh Steve. Mm-hmm. So I drove off, went to go check the car in and shit, came back over there. And um about 20 minutes later, you know, they still sitting in the car talking and shit. And at this point, Steve and, and old girl had walked up on me. And uh and uh, she was like, Corey, what I had just told you in the car. I'm like, you need to tell me shit. I'm like, I was the one who was talking and you met, and you told me to stop so you get out and get in the car with this nigga. And uh, she was like, she was like, didn't I? She was like, didn't I tell you that um, me and you were just talking as friends and I want to talk to Steve? I'm like, hell fucking nah. I'm like, if you did, I would have never spent my money on you and took you on a date and all that type of shit. 
She was like, she was like, right. come on, Corey, don't be like, she was like, don't be like that, cause I, I told you that we were friends and all that type of stuff. I was like, I was like, I was like, Tanya, bro, and my phone right now, as we speak, I got everything that you were telling me in the text message. And not one time did you say that we were talking to this friend. I like, I can expose you right now, but I ain't even do that type of shit. Mm-hmm. And Steve was like, he was like, bro, I don't even want to talk to you. I don't even like you. <laughs> and she just sitting there. <laughs> yeah. and, and she and she just sitting there like, why you being like that? Cause like me and Steve cool and shit. And yeah. Steve was like, bro, he was like, man, cause like man, man he'll be talking and shit. So he know that man uh uh old girl was talking and shit. That man said, bro, how you gonna do, bro, like that? That shit green in hell. He like, man, that shit fucked up. He like, bro, I don't even like you. You crazy. I don't I ain't I ain't trying to talk to you and shit like that. So at this point, all the co-workers outside are gathered around us and shit. Um she was like, it, it, it's just a big misunderstanding. Corey thought we were going together. I said, I said, Tanya, bro, like, I real deal thought that me and you were, like, on some on some uh, hooking up type shit because of what we talk about. And I'm like, I ain't finna put everything out there because, you know, I ain't finna do this shit. But, like, bro, you know what's up, bro. And uh, she was like, no, nah, no, nah, I told you that we should just be friends. All that. So, basically, what you saying is you were trying to use me to get to Steve. Man, Steve was like, man, I don't want to talk to this bitch. Like, he's saying this shit right here in front of her. Like, <laughs> face to face, all three of us and everybody. So everybody outside making shit work. That man like, man, I don't want to talk to this bitch. I'm trying to talk to Sunday. So it's a girl named Sunday that uh worked there. And, you know, he be talking mm-hmm. to her and shit. Yeah. She was like, she was like, then she was like, she was like, Corey, the only reason I was even talking to you because when you text me, you text me back. Steve don't never text me. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What the fuck? He, uh, she, uh, Steve was like, you know, I don't text you because I don't want to talk to your ass and, and, and you talk to Corey. He was like, why would I do that shit? Like, he telling her this shit right in front of her, in front of everybody. Right. And um, I'm like, so you mainly would just use me to get conversation out of me, take me take you on a date. Like, I like, I want my money back. So they laughed because they thought I was joking and shit. I'm dead ass. Make me waste my fucking time and shit. So she was like, she was like, she was like, Corey, we can still be friends. Man, I, I thought, of, like, I ain't even saying I was so fucking mad, bro, to the point where, like, my hand was shaking because I wanted to smack her ass so bad. And I used to think about, like, how I used to be back in the day before um I changed my life around. Man, and I was just picturing myself while we were sitting in the car before all this shit happened, just smacking the shit out of her when she started saying shit. Like, and then when she started saying all this green ass shit, uh... In front of everybody, I want to smack her ass again. Cause you, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, cause now you making me look like I'm a lame ass loser ass nigga, and you just use me to uh, talk to uh, Steve and shit. Um, I you uh, use me, you know, to go on dates and get free meals and shit. And he came up on on top. He don't even want the motherfucking woman, and he and he look like he didn't. He like, I'm getting bitch without even trying. This motherfucker, I don't even want this bitch. Like that's how that's how I'm thinking in my head. Right. And I'm like, man, bro. I'm like, man, bro. And I ain't even seen, I ain't even fucked up about. I mean, like I was fucked up about it. I had told myself, I like, I like, man, I don't like me. I don't get embarrassed. So for me to get embarrassed, I must have real did. Like something must have real did had to happen. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so uh, when all that shit was happening, man, I feel like a lame man, loser. I'm like, damn, I'm like my confidence. Like, like all that shit had just went away in, in that instant when all that shit happened. And um. What made it 10 times worse? What made it 10 times worse? Like, when I was like, I'm going to make it real uh, short and sweet for you, bro. You can talk to whoever you want to talk to. You can be with whoever you want to be with. I ain't finna mistreat you. I'm still going to talk to you. We can be cool and everything. But fuck you, bro. So they started laughing, and I, and I, and I, and I walked off. <laughs> I say, but fuck you. When I walked off, when I walked off, bro, uh, some of the coworkers came up to me like, damn, fool, you all right? And when they started doing that shit, that's when I started feeling embarrassed. It, started, it made it feel like they made it 10 times worse. They are like, man, fuck that bitch, bro. Man, it's more, it's more women out here and all that type of shit. So when they started doing this shit, trying to console me, it made me start feeling worse. I'm like, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, y'all don't even got to do that it, shit. Man. Look at my face. Man, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I don't even got Y'all don't even got to do this shit, man. That shit green in here. So I had to start feeling like, all my insecurity that I used to uh, have growing up had started flooding back into my head and shit. And I was thinking about this shit. And I was talking to my granddad about it. He was like, man, I won't even be worried about it. You better be glad. He was like, you better be glad that you found out her intention like early before y'all caught y'all self going together and all that type of stuff. And you falling for and all that type yeah, of shit. I'm like, yeah. man. Man, on that so, thing. Yeah, so I'm like, man. So I told Chris about it. That man said, fool, it's because you ugly, fool. I'm like, damn. <laughs> That man said, "This shit, he, he like this shit only happen to ugly people." I like, I see. <laughs> that man, 
man as a villain, bro. <laughs> I, 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 I told that man he a villain. Y'all yeah, think, look, he think I be playing when I be saying this shit. <laughs> man, said, this shit don't happen to ugly people. Damn. <laughs> my green yeah, yeah. But man, yeah, my yeah. Whole on that, bro. The nigga you fuck with, Steve, he a real one for that. By just, man, just how he even dealt with this shit. He was like, man, I don't, he was like, man, I don't even want your ass. Like, why would even do do bro like that? It's green in here. Like, and as far as her, Tony, whatever her name is, fool, like, that's some, some ignorant ass high school ass shit. Like, yep. Who the hell even, bro, who operate like that in 2023? Like, man. All three of y'all work together. You gonna stop, get out the car with, with you to get in the car with him. She chasing him. He don't even want her. And you look, you know, showing her a good time, and y'all taste about what mm-hmm. y'all taste about. Y'all supposed to have understanding. Then she just flipped out of nowhere, like out of fucking nowhere. So yeah, man, the the dating meta is crazy in twenty twenty three. Man, no, I, I was telling, I was telling Jane. I mean, what I was telling Chris. Yeah. I was like, man, I was like, I was like man, I was like Jane. Look at that man, got him a whole wife and kids. And shit. I was like, man, that man so damn. Look, I'm, I'm about to beat that man in ass. That man said, what you beat his ass for. <laughs> I like, I like, he don't got to deal with this bullshit that we dealing with. He like, I ain't dealing with shit. I just fuck these hoes. I'm like, I ain't trying to do that. <laughs> my ass, bro. I'm like, man, I ain't, yeah, I ain't know that type of time. Yeah, that shit, that shit hard as hell. Like dating, bro. Like actually, like trying to stall something with somebody. That shit, we because my fool, this shit. Like the example, right? Like you just that story you just told. Like where this come from? Like. If you feel that way, like cool, you know, you could have went by went by it another way. Like, I appreciate the understanding and all that, but you went by it like like a like a dumb bitch. Like you trying to play yeah. with my motherfucker. Like Man. before you even went on this whole little date, you should have been like, you know, yeah, I just want to be, you know, friends. And that would have been cool. Like, cool, we can be friends, like whatever like that. But don't make it seem like, you know, I'm trying to be exclusive and Man. Man, mentality. Bro, you, you, you wasted everything. You got a damn free meal out of it. Man, piss me off. And then think about it is the thing about it is if she would have kept that shit a buck from the beginning and like, look, I'm just trying to like, I ain't really trying to hook up with you like that for real, but we could still hang out and shit. I was like, shit, all right, cool. We still could have went out and did that thing, but I would have never fucking spent my money on her like that. She would have had to pay her own way, but we still would could have went out and did whatever it, we did. It would have been a better understanding. You you got the understanding of okay, I wanna, you know, be exclusive with her. Mm-hmm. She got the understanding of oh, okay, he he's just a friend. I'm just gonna, you know, get this meal or whatever. So y'all having two different mentalities. There's obviously some bullshit. Yeah, so it's just, it's just a whole bunch of like, man, the day, man, man. That's why I said what I said last season when I talk about the modern woman, bro. I hate this shit. And then think about it. Think about it. She twenty five. She, she, she twenty five. So she fully grown. Yeah. So Thinking, moving like that, that's crazy. Yep. So. I told her yesterday. And then you know what's so crazy? You know what's so crazy? Because mm-hmm. I had told her, I was like, when all this shit had blew up that night, that night, man, Steve was talking. That man was like, man, fool. He was like, man, bro, if I would have known that shit would happen, fool, man, fool, I would never even been trying to talk to her or nothing. He was like, I was like, you trying to talk to her? He was like, no, I'm just trying to be cool with her because of you and shit. He was like, I don't like that crazy bitch. She was like, I already knew she was crazy. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, how you know that? He was like, man, fool, you just can tell, fool. That man said, fool, she crazy, fool. That man said, yeah. and then, then that man, and I'm like, bro, I'm like, you don't give a fuck what you say, dude. He's like, man, bro, if she did this shit to you, she'll do this shit to me too. So I ain't trying to be in no, no, uh, pause of this shit. You know, some real nigga shit. It, yeah. This shit true as true as hell. Damn, that man ain't said it. I can just see her as crazy. My ain't never right. Yeah, man, that man might said that shit. He might, he might cut. He might, he might be on the song. <laughs> do you know what? You know what's so crazy? Like, 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 around about time, uh, he found out that man Tanya was first talking. That man said, "Hey, fool, I ain't even sound lie. She crazy." And like, how you know? Do you know her? He was like, "Hell, no, I don't know her." He was like, "But I can look at her and tell that bitch crazy." Like he told me that, like when we first found out that we were talking and shit. Yeah. And, uh, when because she like we had started talking like like a week out wait a week after she got hired and shit. I'm like, I'm like she fine. Hell, I'm fine. Uh, you know. But uh. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you were thinking with your dick, bro. Like, like, all through the shit. You might have said, nah, that's crazy. Damn, that man that's also on your head, didn't Hell no. Nah. But but see, this is this this the thing. This is why I say I got bait. Because when we talk, when, when me and Tanya were talking, she seemed like the most normalist woman in everything. Like she was like she got a piano yeah, tattoo on her. Yeah, yeah, like 
she woo, like she smart and shit and everything. She was showing she know how to play the piano and shit. And I'm like, I'm like, my, I'm like she fresh. Shit. Like she like we have a normal conversation. She ain't sound like all the other motherfuckers and shit. And uh, mm-hmm. come to find out, she just bat shit crazy. Like she just, <laughs> man, she, I'm like, I don't man, know. That shit. See, with me being an introvert, bro, I, that that shit be having me overthinking. God, I I be thinking like that, like how bro was, like how you was, like how you got back. You was like, okay, she cool, she got piano and all this stuff. But in back of my head, I'd be like, I don't know, man, she might, something ain't right. Like and you know what's so crazy? I told Chris that. I was like, yeah. I like Chris fool. I like man, I like I fuck with, I fuck with team, but I was like man, but I don't want to get bait because I don't, I don't, I like this shit too good to be true. That might say, that might say, hey fool, you gonna get bait, bro? And you like all these whole man shit. I'm like, <laughs> damn. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, damn, Chris fool. I'm like, damn. Well, See, see, Chris like future, bro. That might just, that might just a dog ass nigga. That might don't give a damn what what the fuck he say or do. But uh, yeah, man, that shit just that shit scary for. That shit had me, me man, cause that shit had me feeling like that shit really had me feeling some type of way. But I, mean, I talked my, to my, I talked to my dad, and when I talked to my dad, it's like I, it like he, it like that nigga just breathe new life into me with the shit he was saying to me. I'm like, I ain't even thinking about it like that. My dad yeah, told me. Saying? He was like, he was like, he was like, son, he was like, you ain't get played. He was like, they don't want your woman. You ain't get played. He was like, look at it like this. He was like, you at the prime age when you 30. He was like, you really supposed to be talking to multiple women because at this time you figuring out what you like and what you don't like when you're dealing with a woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he was like, he was like, but he was like, look, all you did was have a good time with a woman. He was like, it might cost you a couple of dollars, but you were just hanging out with a woman. He was like, if you didn't do that, I'd be scared. Like, when you a man, if you don't hang out with a woman, that means you a homosexual. He like you ain't no homosexual. Is you? I'm like, nah. He like, he like, he like, he like, well then you did what you supposed to do. You went out and hung out with a woman. He like, man. He like, man. Don't take that shit too seriously. He like, cause at the end of the day, if she ain't your wife, don't take none of that shit serious because she ain't yours. And he was like, he was like, shit. Nowadays, when folks do get married, they still, they still don't belong. He like, so bro. He like, look, you the catch. He like, you don't got no felonies, no background. You don't got no kids, oh, no yeah, baggage. Yeah. He was like, so he was like, so she got a key. I like, she got a uh uh two year old. He was like, man, fuck that. He was like, look, you don't got that. You don't gotta deal with that. <laughs> he was like, he was like, man, he was like, you don't gotta deal with that. He was like, cause you free. You don't got you don't got no response. He was like, like it's just you. He was like, man, you out here just supposed to be living your life, having fun. He was like, at the end of the day, you gotta remember, you the catch. He was like, yeah, he was like, that's true. He was like, yeah, he was like, you gotta remember, you the catch, cause people got this shit all mixed up and backwards. They think the woman the kid. He was like, he was like, I'm gonna tell you what I do, and he was like, I'm gonna tell you what you need to start doing. He was like, see, you were thinking about fucking her. I like, damn. He was like, what you should have been doing was talking to her mind. He was like, cause you got folks minds. Like he was like, once yeah, you got a woman yeah. mind, it's over with. Yeah. He, he was like, he was like, once you once a woman find out. That, that you just trying to have sex and you lusting over, she got you because she can use that as a weapon. He you was like, man, cool. what? That's some true shit that your pop spoke because they remind me of when Marie, me and Maria first dated. Like when me and Maria first dated, fool, I, I'm gonna tell you like how how it even, how it even played out. Like I wasn't even thinking about <clears throat> like getting married and none of this stuff. Like when we first got, I was just talking just you know just trying to talk to a woman you know just be cool type shit and then see where to go from there so we went out that first date i mean y'all you go, we already told you about that like she just grilled me with plenty of questions like mm-hmm. it was good questions though like about the future like the goals and what i want in our life and stuff like that and you know i was just answering them gents and stuff that i thought about on and stuff that she was asking i ain't really had too much thought on but when she asked me about it i gave her a quick answer it was an honest answer too and everything I was answering, it was like it was good to her ears like what she was looking for in a man. So as far as me, what I was looking for in a woman, I just wanted somebody mind just to converse with. And they they mindset gotta be according to what I like, type shit. And that's like the best way to look at it when you dating in this matter. Like the mindset, bro. Cause looks, man, they gonna be there. If she fine, she fine. Of course, that's that's what's gonna make you want to talk to her in the first place. Fat ass, big tits, whatever, all this shit, whatever you like, cool. But that mind food, that mind gonna make you stay. That mind gonna make you want to engage. That mind gonna make you want to be affectionate and all the other stuff, bro. Because if you ain't, if y'all mind ain't connected, bro, like 
food. Even if y'all do the sex, bro, like after that food, it's like shit. All right, I'm go do me, you know, go do you. But yeah, for that that mind, that, that mental, bro, that mental connection, that shit, that shit true as hell, bro. Cause even like when we first dated, for like like sex wasn't even on my mind like that. Like well, like I just want like to really get to know like her brain, like like what she thinking on, like like who she is type shit. And what's even funny, bro, like she. Not to put her out there like that, <laughs> but she like she wanted more than I did. Like she she the one who engaged it. And I was like, okay, well shit, cool. You might like, start like, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause like you can even ask her like, well, I, I want on none of this shit, like trying to smash or none of this stuff. Like I was, I was just trying to like get to know her mind, fool. See what your dad said. That's some real shit. Man, he had me. He had me feeling like I was on cloud nine. He like he like look, don't need to be mean to her. He like if she want to talk to you, talk to her. He like no wrong with that. He like you just know how to deal with it. He like don't even be mean to her nothing. He like just just look at it. Just, he like just look at it like you spend time with a woman and stuff. You just spend a couple dollars in, to hang out with a woman. He was like she got her a meal and had her a good time. You got you a meal and had a good time. Y'all just didn't have sex. Y'all, you just spend time with a woman. He like that's what you supposed to do around about your age. He was like I'm like damn. He like you supposed to be talking about five more. <laughs> I don't like I like this nigga. Man, think you probably. Giving out free meals to bitches and shit. Man, what? <laughs> I, had shit. I, 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 I had to tell my dad, I like, daddy, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> man, that shit, man. Going out to eat, man. You gonna, gonna run you about 60 plus. Man, I spent $115. God damn, the fuck we all eating? It was just y'all too. Then, yeah, then, then, you know, I was getting looking and shit because, you know, I'd be, you know, you know. Yeah, damn, man. You could have. Uh... Man, man. Nah, most of the money came. Most of the money came from the looking and shit. I had went to like, ain't like all of that come from like the, the restaurant and shit. We had went to the uh, nice. to the liquor store and I had got some looking and shit. She like, you be drinking? I like, I don't drink real man shit. They will be getting your head and them liquor. The damn, they'll they'll just top off the bottom part of the cup. That should be twelve dollars. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Get damn half a pint for this damn price. What the fuck? Like, oh shit! That's how they yeah, get your head, man. But yeah, so either, so so yesterday she had called me. Uh because she she was on work yesterday and I was at work and set Fridays and Saturdays our job be real slow to the point where we just standing around literally just doing nothing. I was watching wrestling and shit on my phone, just watching, making money. She called me about four times yesterday. Each time she called me, I answered. She was talking about uh she was sorry. She was like she sat back and thought about what was going on, said she was sorry. All the type of shit for what happened. I'm like, hey, I ain't even worrying about it more. Because at this time, my dad had already talked to me. My mind was in a different headspace and shit. I, I was thinking different. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm like, hey, I'm like, man, I don't even worry about this shit. I'm like, man, we went out, had a good time. Like, we, we, shit, we ate and shit. We cool. And then she was like, that's good. Because she was like, she was like, you the only person that, uh, what she say? She was like, you the only person that really treated me differently over the last past year. She was like, all the other men I talked to, they were just trying to fuck me. In my head, I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't make it obvious, but I want to do it. But you know what I'm saying. But anyway, I, I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, like it's cool because like not one time have I ever brought up like fucking up. Right. So she, she was like, every dude that she talked to within like the first couple of days, they always talking about sending them a picture or trying to like slide in six in the conversation. Shit, you know, and I ain't do that shit. Right. And uh. And she was like, she was like, you just so different. I, I like, I'm different now, but uh, you didn't care about that at first. You want to talk to Steve? I like, but that's why I'm on the bridge. I like, so we cool. I like, we cool. She was like, yeah. She was like, she was like, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna call you a little later on because I want to talk to you some more. I like, got the phone. I like, I ain't finna hear from her no more because you know how women be like, I'm gonna call you, man. I said, I'm not finna hear from her no more. So I started listening to Michael Jackson, <laughs> and uh. My phone start like you know when you be listening to your music, your phone, your music will stop before your phone rings. Yeah, so yeah, I'm like, yeah. so I, man, I'm listening to Michael Jackson. He get to my favorite part of the song. You know, I listen to Chicago 1945. He's about to start bumping it. I looked at my phone. I'm like, what the fuck? And, and I saw it was her calling me. And um, I asked her like, "What's up, bro?" She like, "Nothing. I just wanted to talk to you." And we just started talking to Sean. I'm like, "What's up?" So I kicked shit with her and shit. Got the phone, and she called me one more time. Uh. It was like around by like right before the match between Judgment Day and uh LA Night, you know. She had called and uh she was like, Craig, what you doing? I'm like, I ain't shit watching wrestling. She was like, um, you coming to work tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. She like, well, 
She's like, well, I'm going to bring you some Doritos and, a, and and something to drink to work tomorrow. I'm like, hell yeah, do this shit. I'm like, what kind of drink you bringing? She was like, I'm, she was like you say you like Dr. Pepper, don't I? am like, that's my favorite drink. She was like, um, she was like, I'm gonna bring something there. I like, you know what? No, I was like, don't need to bring no drink. Just bring some of that um uh, prime, uh, you know, like the Logan Paul shit. Uh, oh, that prime water. Yeah. I like, yeah. I like, I like, just bring a bottle of that. She was like, all right. She was like, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I'm gonna bring this stuff to you for real. I was like, all right. Y'all the phone. That was the last time I had talked to her yesterday. Mm-hmm. And I was like, she ain't bringing this shit tomorrow. I was like, man, she just, she just trying to make me feel better for how she treated me and shit. And I'm just, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just talking to her. And I had just finished watching wrestling and then. Uh, I started at working listening to Michael Jackson. I feel like this is the song again, but um, yeah, that's how this shit played out. So, get to work today. See how shit go. I'm straight. I'm straight now. Every time I think about shit, I think about what my dad had said to me, and it just made me just have a whole totally different mindset. Man, be honest with you, fool. I think she, I think she like you, and I think she. Kinda hey, like hey, you. hey, yeah. it's over. With. <laughs> Fool, I ain't finna be second to no fucking body. I don't get no fuck, bro. It's over with. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like I told Steve, bro. I'm gonna tell you like I told that man because he was like, "Hey, bro." He was like, "Man, when she see that I ain't really giving her no place, she will come back to you." I'm like, "Ah, okay, that's cool. We still talk, we still hang out and everything." But guess what? We strictly friends. I ain't second to nobody. I'm number one. <laughs> ah, okay, that's cool. <laughs> man, ain't even let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. Then I like the I like we started back talking and shit. Then we end up going together and shit. Now like I'm gonna look like a loser because everybody like, damn, bro, she just did this shit in front of you to talk to Steve and you start back talking to her. Nah, I ain't gonna do that shit. And then in the back of my mind, I'm like, she talking to somebody else because she did this shit before. Who who say she she feel this way about somebody else now? Nah, I don't even want to have those type of thoughts in the head. With the woman I'm talking about, so I mean the woman I'm talking to. So nah, I'm good. We strictly friends. I don't even have to worry about that shit. Yeah, you, you say that now, nigga, but um, I'm telling you, nah. your way, you, your way in my fold. I was going to say, bro, I was going to say, man, Damn, that if this conversation come back up, y'all, you know, she want to, if she come to you trying to, like, talk again or whatever like that, I'd be like, man, no, and the reason because I don't trust you. And I, my recommendation be like, the only way I even consider it, you got to, like, earn my trust on that type of level type shit. So that'll make her, uh, I guess, work for it if she really will want to like get you type shit. That's all I was gonna say. Judah, bro, I'm telling you, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, I'm on her ass. <laughs> she shouldn't have, did, she shouldn't have <laughs> did this shit to me. Nah, she shouldn't did this shit to me. Ain't <laughs> that? Said no, no second chance. Look, Hell God, no. forgive. God forgive. I don't rigorous. Man, I'm, I'm, yeah, that type shit. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that shit green in hell, bro. Nah, fool. That shit green in hell, bro. Yeah, this shit, this shit crazy. Fool. Women and shit. But um, yeah, that we cool and shit. So that's the only thing I really want to talk about. Other than that, what you, what you got? Nah, shit. I got plenty of shit. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I can uh p- piggyback off of that. Really, that, that kind of goes into what I was gonna talk about today. I'm on Google Docs right now because I do everything in Google Docs. This shit taking forever to load. Okay, I think it just loaded. All right. So um today, listeners, this was gonna be my episode, but uh we like 40 minutes in. <laughs> shit, this shit just went went how it go. That's how TNE go. This nerve earning experience for you. But man, I had so much I want to talk to y'all about today. I still am. But uh I uh I'm gonna let y'all know who Jay Jamal is because I realized this was my fifth episode doing it, and y'all really ain't got that much uh background information on me. Just to give y'all a little info on me. Uh I'm gonna talk about some goals I got for TNE. Uh really just one. But I just, I'm gonna just elaborate on that one goal I do get. Uh I got this segment called Deep Deep Dive, and it's gonna be like uh a, a therapy session for me type shit. I'm gonna be my own therapist in a way. So uh it's crazy, but yeah, it's it's good. And uh I got a health bit. I always got a health bit I'll come back. Come back with it's called uh training your immune system. So I'm gonna give y'all some tips on how to train your immune system because winter is upon us. Bro, it was so cold last night, bro. It ain't making no Man, sense. God I'm like, damn. I'm like, it's gonna be a cold ass winter, bro. It was like 
I think 50 degrees last night, bro. Yep. And uh, mm. the segment I'm going to do now, which is going to pick it back off of what we just talked about with uh, your situation with old girl, I call this state of my nation. So with this segment, I was going to talk about what the hell we doing as a people and the shit that we allow type shit. Uh, as far as uh the state of our nation, bro, it's pitiful. It's horrible. It's uh sickening. It's gross. I hate it because as a people, mass media has engulfed us in such a total docile state to where we don't even be aware to what's literally going on in front of us. I'm guilty of it. You guilty of it. We all guilty of it. And it's just how it got set up here in this nation we in, in America we, we lived in. But at a certain point, we got to stop blaming America. And we got to look at what we're doing as a people and what we can stop doing. Like the music we listen to, we can, we can 100% stop supporting that bullshit because what we see as entertainment and fun these folks is real deal out here doing this shit. You got fucking 12 year olds, monsters out here just killing whoever, elderly babies. They don't care. Straight up monsters out here, bro. You got 10, eight year old little girls getting sex trafficked, bro. I see shit like that. This shit break my heart because I got a little girl. It made me think about trying to protect them the best that I can. And uh, just seeing this state that our people is in, bro, it's just like, we curse. We cursed in the city. That, that's true as hell. We see it everywhere we go. We can drive down the street. You're going to pass five lick stoves, five smoke shops, air, air look convenience store. Ain't, bro, this is something I want. I'm going to ask you this question. When I ask you this question, you're going to be like, bro, goddamn, I ain't never realized that. You can go into any gas station. I don't care where it is in our neighborhood, in Haven, wherever. Did you even realize that in the gas stations, they don't sell no fresh fruit? Uh. No fresh fruit, bro. But it's plenty of chips. It's plenty of candy. It's plenty of sugary drinks that can give us diabetes and all this other bullshit. But it's no fresh fruit. Ain't no salads. No healthy shit, bro. Damn, now that I'm thinking about it, it sure ain't no, like, you don't get apples, bananas, oranges, none of this shit. And then if it is a salad, it's caked up with all types of meats and cheeses and like shit. Like ham and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, fool, Damn. we literally the walking dead in the Valley of Dry Bones. That's us. Like, you can go down, you drive down the street, you'll see a nigga walking. He'll probably be, like, shirtless, pants sagging. And this nigga doing a whole concert for the cars passing by like this nigga rapping hard as hell doing his arms and all this shit he into it but this nigga just walking down the street i'm like bro like, like you 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 really you uh experience what i'm talking about right i know exactly what you're talking about i'm like bro why are you going so damn hard fool and you just walking down the street like you real deal like that's your song like you performing i'm like for these niggas retarded bro then you see the women bro these women literally Nice. Walking out, basically butt ass naked, just walking nice. up down the street, like, like no, no, no dignity, bro. Like your body, your choice. Okay, but why you choosing to walk out? You know, indecent. Like even for the niggas who sagging, like, bro, like, bro, it's twenty twenty three, and you still sagging, bro. Like that shit, that shit funky as hell. <laughs> 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 Like, and then a generation is getting worse and worse, bro. Every generation, bro. Like when we was kids, bro. Like when we was in our like uh, elementary, middle school years, and all this stuff. All oh, this shit was horrible. Like during that time period, yeah, we was the worst generation, supposedly. Twenty years forward, bro, is way worse than how it was. School shootings is like crazy. You got all type of crime is going on in the schools. It's just like, man, you look at the news, this shit just depressing. Like, bruh, you don't see nothing positive in the news. 
Bro, I said that last week on TNE. Like on TNE, I remember be saying that. But you, and then like only thing they'll probably show this positive type of shit. I ain't gonna say only, but they had some crazy shit. Like cat got saved out of a tree, or get ready to vote. Like what the hell we voting for? Y'all talking about these policies and all these changes, but what is that really doing? We've been talking about this past sixty years. What's really changed? Nothing. Let's see. This this goes back to what you were just talking about with the with the with the music and shit. Like we we'll listen to like like especially with the type of mindset I got now. I listen yeah. to the song, but like I just like the beat and the harmonies and all that type of shit. But mm-hmm. the young the young folk growing up behind us, like the kids after us, and you know my nephews and shit, then your kids generation, like yeah. they'll listen to this shit and actually be influenced by this shit. Like these niggas out here at really think they got ops and shit, and they don't they they young as hell. Out here shooting these folk, these folk be like you said, these folk some little damn monsters out here nine days. Like for I remember back in the Haven, it was about like a year or two ago. Like they were like just shooting cars on the highway. Like I don't know mm-hmm. where they posted up it. Uh, so you heard about this story. Yeah. Like fool. And there was and all there was is just like initiation to get in the game. Yeah. I'm like, fool, what what sense does that make? Like what 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 does that prove, bro? Like back in the day, fool, like when games was first formed and shit, it wasn't even on no negative shit. It was to like protect the community. Like the Crips. That shit was yep. to protect their community and shit like that. How that shit well I, well we all know how it got you know the FBI put the guns in the hood and all that type of stuff like that, but I ain't, I ain't, I ain't too much focused on on them right now. I'm focused on what on on my nation, on what we can and what we can allow and not allow to do. Like, you know what's hard though? The what? hardest thing, the hardest thing is to do is to get folks out this nigga mentality because like that's that's the hardest thing to break. Because and like I, the reason why it's so hard to break too, not to cut you off, is Nick no hope. There's no hope in the land. We have nothing to hope for. We ain't got nothing to aim for. We ain't got no type of aspiration. Niggas don't even have goals no more, bro. Dang. Well, I got gold. I got gold. Uh, oh, you said gold. I thought you were talking about like gold. Like the, I got some gold. Here. G-O-A-L. Like goals. Like things you want out of life. Like, <laughs> nah. These niggas just wondering. Bro, I'm going to tell you something. Do, I'll go ahead. I'm going to tell you something. Dallas, my nephew, he in the second grade. He mm-hmm. doing good in school and everything. And uh, I noticed some kids around about his age. I was hearing them outside talking. One of, one of them kids like said, with no hesitation and kind of proud, said he don't know how to read. When I was in second grade, I knew how to read. Like I, I knew how to read at the level I was supposed to read it when I was in second grade. And bro, Damn. Man, like six or seven, bro. Like what? Yeah. Man? So he was a little kid, like saying he don't know how to read. And he was like, he don't even want to go to school. All he want to do is play Fortnite. I like, see, that's another thing. Another thing that this gener- like this generation of parents be doing, bro. Uh, not all parents, but mm-hmm. they have tablets and electronics babysit their kids for them, right? Instead of using it as a tool to help them learn shit. Exactly. I remember, I remember growing up, my mom she had bought us um, hooked on phonics. Mm-hmm. It was four. It was, it was four of us: me, my two brothers, and my sister. And even during the summer breaks, we used like every morning during the summer break, no bullshit. From like the time we wake up and she got up and fed us breakfast and shit for about an hour and a half, we used to sit at the table and do like workbooks, like like subtraction, addition, and all that shit, all the way up till we got to like middle school. But like mm-hmm. all the elementary school, we did we did school work throughout the whole year, even when we was on summer break. Yeah, because she wanted us not to be no dumbass kids. Like when we were little kids, she used to read to us and everything. Man, yeah. parents don't do this shit nowadays. They like, look, you crying, you want this? Them, them little kids, them little toddlers don't have to work tablets and iPads better than I do. I'm like, God damn. And what's crazy about it, bro, like, it's a tool to help, but they not using a tool to help the kids. Like, the kids use it to just watch streamers on YouTube or you know on educational stuff. Like, it'd be different if they use it for, like, educational purposes. Like, even they got Netflix shows that's educational, bro. Like, there's so many tools out here that they can use to educate. Bro, it's so much educational tools out here, bro. It, like, bro. It's, it ain't no reason for your kid not to know how to do anything, bro. Not know how to read or write or understand, you know, stuff at the, at their current level that they're supposed to understand. It's too many It's too many tools to help us, bro. Like, it is. Bro. It, it's just crazy, bro. 
and it ain't no that's part of what i was gonna say no knowledge in, in our land that's part of it too and i was gonna go into the power like where it ain't no love like fool it ain't no no love bro like whatsoever bro like motherfucking be walking down the street bro and they say you um i cannot put it basically like how, how we hate each other type shit hating our own brothers our sisters hating, hating their own sisters like even not even even in your own family even outside your own family like there ain't no genuine love no more it's all about what he can do for me or what she can do for me like don't know about it i ain't gonna say nobody but for the general population people self-love values more than how they portray love on other people basically mm-hmm. it's, it's it's a a stingy mentality nowadays bro even back then like not saying that everything was perfect back then the mm-hmm. men made love songs to sing the women that niggas don't even make love songs no more when they standing out holding their hands out with the other hand on their chest like singing talking about how much they love the woman and need her and shit niggas don't even talk about they don't niggas don't sing love songs no more Food, like, like no r&b or nothing like what Diddy was saying, he was right, fool. Like R and B. Oh, he was talking about like how R and B did. Like basically what you said. Like how R and B they don't do what they used to do. Like back in like in the nineties, even in the early two thousands. Like it ain't that's true. Shit, even in the seventies, like in the seventies and eighties, like men, like men that knew how to sing and they were singers, they made love songs for women, bro. Ooh, look at Ted Pendergrass, bro. That man. I'm saying all about. You know, we finna close the door, you know, cut, turn off the lights. We finna get this wine. I want to relax you, massage you, and all this stuff. Man, you listen to me tonight. It's just about fucking, bro. It's straight you know, up, we man. Finna none of that. We finna get some pussy. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, ain't no more serenading, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is artists that do that, but I'm talking about what get It don't hit the same. It, what get pay, yeah, it don't. But what get pushed in the mass media, that, that ain't what's getting pushed. And even though, even the people that still do make R and B, it's, it's like they don't put no feeling into it. Like it like like that's like, it's like their soul like that like how it used to be back then. Like you hear an R Kelly love song, mm-hmm. you feeling that man singing that shit. I get what and you're saying because it's it's like he putting his he fluctuating his words when he's singing like his vowels and all that different notes bruh, and tunes and all this. Bruh, stuff. My favorite R Kelly song, I can't sleep, baby, bro. When he's singing that song, bro, you feeling that man it's like you feel that man going through this shit. He miss her. Ass. Yeah, I, I I get you. Yeah, that shit's true, bro. But yeah, man, this and they, and to close out this one, man, it's just a self examination. Like mm-hmm. what you can do, what I can do, what everybody should do, bro. We should just always look, and we should always look within on what we can improve day by day. Yep. And that should be like uh, that should be what everybody should be doing. Like no matter how good you're doing in life, like it's always an area where you can improve in. And if you had that like mentality mentality daily, you'll be better off not only for yourself, but the people around you. So that was my segment called State of My Nation. That was heavy on my mind. I want to get that out. Uh do you want to comment some more on that before I move to the next one? Now you can move on. All right. So to pick it back off that segment, I got another segment called Deep Dive. Well, uh, well, before I, well, no, I, it, 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 it lines up with State of My Nation, so I'm going to do Deep Dive. So, uh, Deep Dive going to be about me, like 100% about me. So, uh, as far as TNE being therapeutic, it's time for my therapy episode. So, uh, as far as I want to talk about, it's like the thoughts that run in my head daily. Like, I have a billion, I have billions of thoughts. Good thoughts, you know, bad thoughts, evil thoughts holy thoughts all type of thoughts like any other human being some days i feel on top you know some some days the negative thoughts get heavy so uh for example regrets we all have regrets no better life can say they don't have that that they don't regret nothing as far as my regrets i tend to think about what i could have should have would have done now that i'm approaching 30 years old i know it's unhealthy to do so but I feel it's like impossible to have zero regrets, no matter how good your life is. That thought of what if lingers a lot within the choices I made in my life. But uh, to snap out of it, I focus on you know the present and how I can build it and how I can build my present to be better in the future. 
but uh the stuff that like get me down a lot is like procrastination and uh settling just settling for like uh just settling period instead of just like being like okay i'm gonna just wait and maybe wait for something to be better those are like some of the bad habits i got and uh yeah bro regrets that shit suck <laughs> But uh, that's just that's the kind I want to talk about because I know uh, folks deal with this. Shit. I know, fool, I know everybody deal with this shit. Everybody, everybody. But it's like this shit suck because I don't be want to like just focus on this shit. But it's like damn, I can't not think about this shit. Like it, it don't be it, it do be daily, but it don't be all day type shit. Because you know, at third, I be thinking like, man, I could have been doing this, or I could have been doing that. If I was more focused on this, but thinking like that just gonna ruin you. I know for me it is because ain't no it. This shit just unhealthy as hell. Cause everybody can look back on something that they did that was probably bad and thought about a different outcome, a better outcome in their life could have been like, oh man, my life could have been like like this if I would have just did like that. So man, my advice to people who think like that, man, just. Focus on your present. Focus on what's in front of you right now and just build on it. That way your future can be how you want, how you think it should be. Cause even if even with all that, all the planning, all the preparation, all the regrets, these are all just human emotions at the end of the day. And we don't have one hundred percent control over it. Cause that's the most high God job. So Ain't no point in stressing out about it, man. Just, well, everybody ain't spiritual and think how I think, but for me, man, I just, I just leave it to the most high. Man, it, it, it's just hard to like not sit back and think about. She was like, "Damn, man, if I would have never did this, I'd be in this position." Like for me, for instance. Yeah, I'm the exact same way. <laughs> I be thinking about stuff like stuff I did over the course of years to help my brothers. Like I love both of my brothers, but like, yeah, if if I would have put myself first a little bit more than what i was helping like doing with them especially with all the bullshit they brought towards me and shit man i, oh. I would have been super straight man you'll be thinking about shit you could have had the uh-huh the, the position you could have been in life i'd be thinking about all that type of shit man. i think about all that shit then i started thinking about like i tell people all the time when i was 24 on january 4th 2017 i met my teacher uh calvin mm-hmm from that day on up to now, like I've been the person who I am now. I, I changed into who I am now. Mm. But, be, but before then, she, we were trying to get in the music industry to make money and fuck bitches and shit. Like what if that? Like I was thinking, like what if that would have happened instead of exactly us, yeah. us me and Calvin and shit. Like I would have been better off. My mom probably still would have been alive. We would have had money and shit. Like I, I be like I be finding myself thinking about that type of shit sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I be like. I probably would have ended up off worse than what I am now if that would have happened. Cause, yeah. like, Cause like, I don't have the I don't have the most of now, but shit, like you said, the Most High God He provide for me. Mm-hmm. Like I be I be giving it up to Him, and I be straight. I will be having food. Uh, I might not have what I want to eat at all times, but like I still be having something to eat when there's people in the world right now who don't have nothing, and yeah, uh, it's people it's people in the world who don't have like clothes like it's gonna get cold outside so it's, it's some folks outside who don't have shit none of like keep themselves warm and shit but but god provided that for me though so that's why when i started thinking about what could have been and what should have been and shit, i always keep in my mouth like all right this could have happened but who's to say that would have happened because god exactly. got me he got me where he want me to be at or where i should be at right now like mm-hmm. i am mean, i'm i'm where i'm supposed to be at currently that's how I look at it. Because if I wasn't supposed to be right here, God won't have me here right now anyway. Won't even be here. Yo, that's yo. And when I get like that, bro, they, they just live, they just remind me of the scriptures. Like they just because I know everybody ain't, ain't spiritual, but I we are. So I'm just talking from our, our standpoint. They're just Satan, bro. They're just because all the prophets went through it. Cause when I go through when I read scriptures about it, I'll be like, damn, so it just felt his way. Okay. So I ain't mm-hmm. alone. So every emotion we feel them, bro, the prophets felt that way. And what they did, bro, man, they just went to the scriptures, bro, and went through Christ's teachings. Christ went through it his damn self. Like, 
that man fell fear. Like he ain't wanna he ain't wanna go through that. But what happened? Angel came to him, remind him of the scriptures. So scriptures undefeated, bro. So man, cause that make you feel better. Bro, in my pro this how I process stuff, feelings in order. The scriptures in God, and right out of that, Michael Jackson. Because both of them just like all this stuff had me feeling but like with this shit fool, with this shit, like, I'm dancing here, bro. For everything that you're going through, for every emotion that you're feeling, you can open up, you can just be in Proverbs and they'll tell you how to deal with it and how to go about certain stuff. Proverbs and Sarah. Mm-hmm. So, and then with Michael Jackson, if I'm feeling sad, I listen to a song that he got that sad. Bro, he didn't got a song literally for every feeling that I feel. <laughs> Every if, if you if you include all the songs that Jacksons get like the Jacksons and Michael Jackson, but you gonna find something that 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 relate to what you are going through. That's mm-hmm. why that man. That's why I be saying he my best friend because like my guess on got me through some shit, bro. I'm t- bro. I'm telling you, bro. Even when I'm happy, I'm like, man, I'm gonna listen to this song because he will have on the hook. Like so, the scripture. I always put scripture in God first and right up under that, Michael Jackson. Cause like That's when I went through cool. the shit with Tanya, when I went through the shit with Tanya, y'all read some scripture and shit that made me feel better. And then the next day I talked to my dad and that made me feel better. On top of Michael Jackson, I was like, y'all straight. I ain't worried about this shit no more. Yeah, man, that's that's a good thing, man. But that's the end of my deep dive. Just get a listeners a little inside of my brain, just a little peek. I ain't giving y'all everything that's in my brain. Probably scare y'all off. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> next segment I got. This is gonna be a quick one. It's called Goals for TNE. I really just got one. It ain't specifically, well, I ain't going to say specifically for this season, but it kind of is. It's for all the seasons, though. My main goal for TNE, man, is to get engagements, engagement from the listeners. Why? Because we give a fuck what y'all think. <laughs> Just to put it simple, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. Bro, I never understood. Like, I'm not in charge over the socials and shit, because I ain't good at, like, that type of shit. But I be looking. And I never understood when I look at the analytics for the show, especially when when Jay come on. I don't know what it is about him that y'all like, but every month we have him on. Those be the episodes that do the most uh, listens, bro. Mm-hmm. We be have on average, on average, even with the ones with him, on, it be over six hundred people listening to the show every week from everywhere in the world, mm-hmm. place I never even heard about. So it, so it, so it gotta be some people who want like engage in a you know talking to like 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 I uh, like I always say y'all can like put y'all thoughts down get y'all input on the show and what the episode and shit give us topics to talk about like something anything I like mm-hmm. I'm like bro it can't be it ain't no way that over the course of a month cause I do the show every week the course of a month that we have over eighteen hundred people listening to the show and ain't nobody. Like interacting with her, I'd be like, "This is crazy." Hmm. Well, shit. I guess timing, man. I don't know. Then again, I ain't, I ain't no social media expert. My damn self. No, I, I did. Do I did do some good numbers on that last TikTok. A, y'all, y'all did show out on the last one. So we we getting there. We getting there. I can believe it because whatever you did on that TikTok, it made uh uh. The episode do some more numbers and shout out where the fuck EFO come from. I like it. I appreciate it. So yeah, we getting there, man. But shit, that, that engagement is it, coming too. So that's my main goal, just to get y'all some feedback, some comments, say what you like, what you don't like, make jokes, make a serious comment. I don't know, because we do it all on TNE. We get serious, we play, we can get political, we can talk about wrestling games, we can talk about life, anything. Just all ages, all races, it don't matter. Just engage with us, bruh. <laughs> shit. All right, so that's enough of that segment. <laughs> I, say got, shit. <laughs> I got two more sick. Well, really, three. The last one, uh well, I'm just gonna get to. It. So this segment is called Who is J Jamal? I know y'all been wondering like the past what four episodes, I think it's the fifth episode. Been coming on, but I ain't really been giving y'all no deep insight. So I'm going to give y'all a little insight on me. I'm 28. I'm from the Haven. If y'all ain't from Memphis, that's in Memphis. Just a community. It's a hood in Memphis. White Haven. We call it the Haven, though, because ain't shit white in the Haven. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, gaming is my favorite hobby. That's my favorite pastime when I have time to myself. That's what I like to do. 
Uh, I'll be on PS5. My uh, PSN is Mr. Apocrypha. And uh, if you can't find that, I'm on YouTube. Just search me. I post content on YouTube. Basically, uh, I'm an FGC member, fighting game community. So basically, just fighting game content on there. Mainly MK1 since they just been out. Since they came out last month, that's all I've really been on and posting. I had posted on Resident Evil too. So fighting games, horror games, that's pretty much what I play and post. Uh, my YouTube channel, search for Judah Gaming. You'll find all my content there. Uh, I call myself something like a comedian because I like to make people laugh. But if I do some stand up, I probably suck. Uh, <laughs> I'm an artist. I like to create shit. Uh, I used to do music way back in the day. Damn, nigga, sound old. Um, uh, right. graphic designs. As far as graphic designs, I'm the one who do the graphics for TNE. I did the cover art. Hope y'all like that new cover art for season three. That that took a lot of creativity in me. I had to think about it. So. The meaning behind that is uh my boy Ken Adesma, he had this uh this comic book endorsement. I think it was what DC wasn't it? Yeah, DC uh Universe Infinite, yeah. So yeah, I played off of that. I made him into a comic book character. It's kinda like X Men. So he got like a little flame power. That's why you see the little flames on the cover. And uh the font, I just played around with it just to match around with the colors. And as far as the music I use I actually use AI for the cover and for the music. Uh, so for the cover, I use this app called Photo Leap, I believe. Yeah, Photo Leap. That's how I did everything through there. Uh, and now for the music, I use this app called it's four letters A I V A. I don't know how to pronounce it. I guess it's like A I A A V A A V A. But that's what I use. They got they got everything set up for you, like drum kits, all type of stuff. You just pick what you want to do. You play around with it, put it to how you want it to sound. They mix it, they master it for you. All good. Whatever length song you want, short, medium, long. That's what I used to do it. Uh also I'm a family man, wife, kids, you know, all that good stuff. Uh I used to train kickboxing. I ain't did it in about a year or two. But that that should be my second favorite hobby, doing kickboxing. Cause I like whooping folks' ass. Hell yeah. Uh <laughs> <laughs> violent ass. <laughs> as y'all know from episode one i'm a vegan i've been vegan for about what four months by now and i lost so far 40 pounds so a hey, I so far i guess it's 10 pounds every month i don't know i'm just i'm just doing this shit <laughs> uh the main thing i like to watch on tv for the most part is wwe or netflix animes at this point this fool i really fell off the anime game like me like, too hard. i don't even like if it ain't on Netflix, somebody could just click on easy and just chill, like you know, with the wife and kids to play on. I don't even watch this shit. Not that I don't want to, it's just I just be forgetting about this shit. Me too. Hey bro, you need to watch Castlevania. The new one. Uh the one before that one. Fool, I seen all of Castlevania. Fool, that's uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that shit fire. Too. Bro, that shit too damn fire. Yeah, that shit too fire. <laughs> Did you see the new one? No, I ain't watched it yet. I ain't watched it yet. Well, I played some of the first episode and then because you know what's so crazy i still got your uh netflix account on my phone but mm-hmm. i be want to watch it on my computer i ain't man, i don't know what the hell my login is this shit crazy anyway uh <laughs> <laughs> if y'all want to reach me contact me or anyway tne beyond that's on x and that's on tiktok that's how y'all can reach me or if y'all just want to reach the show the same thing, vice versa. I can get to it, but uh, that's that segment on who is Jay Jamal. That's all I want to tell y'all. Cause y'all don't need to know nothing else about me. This mine. <laughs> all right. <laughs> My last segment before we talk about fast life is Ooh. called "My Health Bit." Cause you know I gotta get y'all a health bit. So this health bit, like I said earlier, is called training the immune system because winter is upon us. Winter is coming. All right. And this mine. <laughs> So I'm going to talk about basically just six things that can help your immune system out. All right. So number one, garlic. I love, if y'all ain't noticed, I always talk about garlic for some reason, every health bit. But it's because this shit is very good for your body. It got prebiotics where the prebiotics are food for the good, in your, for the good bacteria in your gut, which mean like, so you got good bacteria in your gut, right? That helps you out. They help break down different stuff. And the prebiotics, if you get a prebiotic, that's basically food for the good bacteria that help it out. 
and that's what uh garlic that when garlic's come into play and garlic also improves your heart health and it also amps the white blood cells you know in, in your body because white blood cells help fight off viruses cold flu COVID 19 you name it so that's number one number two is fatty fish so i got some for the people who like eat meat like you because you're a meat eater I uh man, <laughs> what the fuck, what the fuck, fatty fish, man. That's number two. Reason being, is rich in omega three fats, which is anti-inflammatory. So tuna, salmon, mackerel, trout, herring, you name it, any fish, basically all fish, is good for you and good for your immune system. Uh, number three, citrus fruits. So oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruits are all full of vitamin C. And we all know vitamin C is pretty much the top virus fighter. All right, number four is ginger. I talk about ginger a lot too. The reason being, it's very good. It contains vitamin C, magnesium, and potassium. And magnesium and potassium helps fight off and ward off viruses as well in your body. Number five is almonds. Almonds is excellent in vitamin E, which is power, which is a powerful antioxidant, which guess what? It fights viruses. So I say about where well, it say it was researched 40, about 40 almonds a day is recommended to get the ultimate optimal number of vitamin E within your body. But for people who are allergic to tree nuts like almonds, I have a substitute for you. And that's the last one. Number six, sunflower seeds. So sunflower seeds is an alternative for the for the infection fighter, vitamin E. Also, it contains selenium, which has a double effect on your immune system. The first effect, it triggers your immune system when there's a risk. And damn, I ain't right the second second effect. I done fucked up my report. This mine. Damn, so I don't know what the second effect is, y'all. Y'all look it up shit. All right. That man ain't probably be teaching us, but he telling us to look up. Like, we supposed to know what to look up. Yeah. But yeah, sunflower seeds. Yeah. All right. But uh, to close out this segment, the American diet is full of foods that produce inflammation in the body. And the <laughs> body has too much. What's funny, bro? <laughs> that man voice crazy. <laughs> man, I'm still going through puberty, bro. Shut up. All right. Um, and when the body has too much inflammation, the immune system struggles. A diet consisting of only fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, like you know your turkey and your salmon and stuff like that, it will greatly improve your immune system functions. And you want to also reduce saturated fat, saturated fats found in baked goods, and your full fat dairy like whole milk, and uh, your red meat like uh you know pork and shit like that. And also, trans fat is horrible for your heart. And it causes inflammation as well, so that's where you get like uh you know your heart disease and all the other high cholesterol, all the other bad stuff. So that's my help bit for the day, and that's train your immune system so y'all get ready for the winter. All right, bro. Last but not least, we gotta go into the fast lane. Man, honestly, I don't really too much got nothing to say about fast lane because I, I I didn't finish watching the car had to finish working. And a little bit that I did see, eh, I, the, the match that I really want to see was John Cena and LA Knight. Who they go get Judgment Day? Man, uh, judgment Day. Who they went I mean, bloodline. bloodline. Yeah, yeah, bloodline. Overall, fool, it was like five matches, which was surprising because I thought they usually do six matches here at PLE. But uh, they do, just, don't uh, they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, this one was five though. It was only five matches. Hmm. So it was just a filler PLE, nothing major. Uh, I give it a B minus. It was cool. Uh, I can t- I break down each match because I I did see it all. The opener, Cody Uso versus uh, The Judgment Day. <laughs> I did not expect him to win a tag team title belt. Me neither. At all, like, I actually don't like that because Judgment Day just won them just and they had a whole bunch of damn gold and now they just fucked that up. But of course, it's gonna be for a story, which is why I love WWE because it is the, the stories, bro. If the stories ain't captivating, bro, 
the match ain't gonna ain't gonna make me want to watch the match as much unless it's like some high level performance. Like it, it got to be a captivating story to go with the match for me for it to be like an awesome ass experience matching the totality. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go from here, but I know they're for the start building Crown Jewel, and everybody who's a WWE fan know Crown Jewel is straight up fan service. That's a fan service ple. Uh, we all know uh tc he gonna be on crown jewel who he gonna fight i don't know but we're probably gonna find that out friday it's gonna they they said seen it but they confirmed it then not to be true because don't nobody want to see this shit fool they might as well just gonna do nah rocky i don't think they're gonna do rock but that'd be that would be a good time to go and get that out the way Man, Rock ain't going over there to no damn Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Hey, fool, they gotta have somebody because every Crown Jewel just be straight up fan service, bro. So I don't know who who Roman Reigns gonna fight. Whoever they're they gonna head beat. I mean, because they might as well keep it tight on him till WrestleMania. No, 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 no. It ain't no might as well. He gonna keep his title. Travel Chief. Fuck. Can't wait for Friday. <sighs> but uh, hey. As far as the opening match, it was cool. I mean, it was entertaining. I liked it. Uh, that was a surprising result, though. All right, moving on. Uh, the match after that, who fought after that? I'm trying to. I'm thinking off the top of my head. Was it the women's? I don't know, but I'm going to talk about it since it just popped in my head. The women's triple threat match. Uh, it was cool. <laughs> I, I, I super like that. <laughs> what fool? Because it wasn't really no amazing moments in that match for me, but um, I did like the EO retain because she she definitely need to hold it down. She might as well just hold it down at least till Mania. Yeah, or Royal Rumble. Rumble. I have to say at least Royal Rumble. She probably can lose. lose it. I don't know, depending on who it is in the story and all this shit. But at least, at least to a Royal Rumble, go and close this year out with that hoe. Go and just let build her, build her stock up because. I definitely don't want to see Charlotte win because hey, hey, no, hey, no. chill out. She, she don't need that hole. And I ain't want to see Oscar get it right back. So now where's Bianca? Bianca fool. Man, she 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 on PTO. Oh ah, well. I don't know what, what, what her story. Her story gonna have to be oh, she gonna have to come back for damage control because they don't want to put it out. So it might be uh her versus EO match. And uh honestly. All right, let's say she come back um, for uh, Survivor Series because Survivor Series next month. I can't wait. That'd be a good matchup for Survivor Series, her versus EO. And honestly, I would want Bianca to lose just because EO can get her profile built up. Because the more like, good people EO build, I mean, the, the more good people EO beat, it builds up her stock as a good-ass champion and somebody to take serious type shit. And to have to help a damage control even better because I like the heel shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who else fought? Um, oh, yeah. L.A. Knight, John Cena versus Bloodline. Uh, that was an entertaining match. Jimmy funny as hell. He was entertaining that match, doing funny shit. Solo's just going to be giving it there. He just been want to whoop ass. Don't make him cold. Uh, my L.A. Knight came in... Steve Austin is here stumping folks, mud holes in folks and shit. That's a cold uh, shit. It was a cool match. It was kind of, eh, it was cool. I liked it. It was cool. Uh, it's supposed to be two more matches besides the main event. Who else fought, bro? Oh, yeah. Uh, Street, Prof- Street Profits and Bobby Lashley versus uh, Hispanics. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the LWO, <laughs> man. Damn. <laughs> All right. Uh, are they not Hispanics, bro? Damn. All right. Uh, so, so Carlito is LWO. Okay. Yeah. That's why I didn't say LWO because I didn't know if he was or not. So he might well put him in this shit. I don't know. Uh, it was cool. I mean, these matches weren't just spectacular. That's why I say it was like a okay. It was it it wasn't a B minus. It was a C plus. It, it was oh, it was C plus. I mean, they did perform good, but it wasn't nothing like, like you know, like the past PLEs that they've been, been having. This PLE was just a filler, which was cool. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't spectacular. I like the match, the six man tag match. 
Not really, but it went bad. <laughs> it made right. on PLEA. Now the best match of the night, the main event, the last Dang. man standing match. I fool, I love that match. That was a good ass match there. I ain't even see it. Fool, I ain't see none yeah. of it. Man, go back and watch that whole cause fool. This is one thing I don't understand about the IWC fool, the internet wrestling community. These folks don't like that self one, they don't like self like how, how he like carrying the belt and all this stuff talking about his title reign born and shit. How? This man just had a last man standing match, bro. That man performed his ass off in that match. I don't, I don't see where the, the Seth Rollins hate coming from. This, this shit kind of ridiculous. Folks saying, like, Gunther, Gunther Rain is better than Seth Rollins. Man, Gunther Rain began before Seth Rollins even had his belt. So you can't. And who did he really him. go against? Like, Gunther really only won against a handful of folks that were really cool. Nah, I ain't going to lie right there for his resume. For he, went against, he went against Drew McIntyre. He went against uh, Chad Gable. Because Chad Gable, that man called here. Who does he go against? Who that man? I'm like, all right, I'm finna list this shit because I seen that shit the other week. I'm like, damn, that man really, that nigga resume really long as hell. I'm gonna look up his title defenses. Uh, not no video. I just want to list. Uh, okay, Wikipedia, perfect. Uh, damn, that shit took me back to fucking. I know, I, I know, I know, he won against uh Mad Cow Mouse garbage. Yeah, that don't count. He went, against, he, went against, he went against Riddle. Man, what a... I know he went against Ricochet. Okay, here, we, here we go, man. All right. So, yeah, Mad Cup Moss, that was trash. Riddle, eh. Uh, Ricochet, his match is being entertaining. He had yeah. Ricochet. He went against Mysterio. He went against Ricochet twice. Drew McIntyre, that was, man, that's probably his best one right there. That's what I'm saying. Do I uh, name him first? And he really getting ricocheted three times. Uh, Rey Mysterio, I ain't care for. Uh, Braun, Braun Strowman. Strowman. It, that was a good match when they did on SmackDown. That was a good one. Then, then you go against Shinsuke? I don't know, but I'm going through the list right now. Sheamus, that uh, fool. His match. What match? Was that WrestleMania? Nah, that was a triple threat at WrestleMania. But uh, I think it was Royal Roman he had that match with Sheamus. Fool, that match was so fucking good. Oh, he did go against Shinsuke. See, man, yeah, yeah. Hey, see fool, that might resume deep, bro. Uh, yeah, Mustafa, but but uh-huh. don't count. Uh, Xavier Woods he don't count. Chad Gable, yeah. That fool triple threat at WrestleMania, fool. Yeah, that yeah, whole fire. I like when he want to get Sheamus at uh Class of the Castle. Class of the Castle. Is that the one they went against each other? I think so. Mm-hmm. They got yeah, that as number five. one. Yeah, they got that John as number one. Cause they yeah, just fire. So yeah, going to fool. I mean, fool. I wouldn't compare the two him and self because, like I said, Gunther Rain started before self even had his belt. And man, just why? Why can't folks just enjoy good wrestling, bro? You got two because you know why, bro. folks. Like they, 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 they. One thing about the wrestling community that I don't like, these folks bitching and playing about everything. Like when self went all them years, especially last year before he became world heavyweight champion uh, this year, they were like, self need to be the one to get the title. Self need to be the one who be world heavyweight champion. Soon as this man become way way champion, they complaining now. His title reign boring, all this type of shit. So now that he got the title, they complaining. When he didn't have the title, they complaining. That's shit. that's the shit. I, that, that's what I don't like. Yeah, if it's, it's, that, shit, that, that would make the IWC look bad. Fucking dweebs, bro. Like, yeah. just enjoy this shit. Like sometimes they they, they have some legitimate reasons to complain about, but most of the time this shit just be bullshit. Yeah, complain about the tribal chief and shit not showing up. See now, nah, that's a legitimate reason. Oh uh, damn! Who <laughs> that man fought with three times this year? Man. I like how he. I like how he still got the title, but ain't Jeez. defending it. I just wonder what he gonna say Friday. It don't matter what he say. Acknowledge him. Damn. New season start tomorrow and shit. How the hell did it happen? I don't know. They see WWE seasons work ugly. Fool, that shit don't even be making sense. Making sense. <laughs> Man. Both of us hit the uh, same time. I look forward to how, because they didn't build Fast Lane, like, at all. Except, like, the week of. That's on time they really built this shit. But they, right. I, I, I look forward to how they're going to build Crown Jewel, because they're supposed to be fan service. So, I think, uh, shit, maybe we get a Brock versus Gunther match. That's what I really want. I really want to see that match up. Don't fuck go build the fuck out of uh, Survivor Series when it's time to build that joint up in November too. 
Yeah, because they already starting the factions with Judgment Day and Bloodline coming together. You already got four members for Team Cody. Cause you got Cody, you got well, you got Cody Uso. Now they tag team champions. Nice. You got uh, who the other two? I don't, I don't know if John Cena gonna still be around doing uh, Survivor Series. He probably you got, but who he ain't? Cause I got the perfect. I got the perfect team, bro. All right. So you got Cody Uso since they tag team champions. Put L.A. Knight, put Sammy and K.O. versus Roman Reigns, uh, Jimmy Solo, Seth and not Seth, but uh, Finn and Priest, five on five war games, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> God, this shit, it is. Yeah. Well, that's a bro. That's a, that's that's a fire. That's the perfect war games right there, fool. Uh huh. Perfect. Yeah. Watch they book this shit, fool. They book this shit. Fool. <laughs> I'm like, bro, this, this, this gonna this gonna hire me, bro. It's gonna make me a writer or some shit. True, like, like, nah, you gotta move to Connecticut. Oh hell no. Nah. But uh, you know that's one of the requirements to be a writer for WWE. You have to move to Connecticut. I ain't even know this shit. Oh well. well. <laughs> yeah, man. But uh, as far that's this pretty much it for fast, man. Shit. Yeah. Well, we covered everything today from how I got baked. Yo, uh, how you use TNT as therapy on some shit like I do? Mm-hmm. The you fast, man. So shit, that's about that's about it. If you if you want to add something else, that's what we call the nerve on the experience. Now, what I'm gonna do. I think that's what they call a call of action. The people who do content creation and all this shit where they talk to their uh, listeners or followers, whatever you want to do it, and they get them an action and they want them to do something. So my call of action, I want everybody to leave a comment. <laughs> well, you can't even leave no comment. Well, yeah, you can. No, well, you can't on uh, Apple Podcasts. I'm trying to you, can't on, you can't on Apple Podcasts. You can't oh, on... You can. uh, yeah. You can. Well, everybody um, might not leave a might not leave a comment, but uh, I don't know, man. Just share, comment, subscribe, push it. You know, you if you know somebody who like listening to podcasts and probably would find this intriguing to listen to, share it. You know, family member, coworker, friend, side piece, sneaky link. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, y- do your um uh, parents be listening to the show when you be? Oh, oh, my mama do. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. My dad, he ain't got no iPhone. He don't, he don't know how to work this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hell no. Nah. Man, I hear you on the gap there. I hear him too. <laughs> she, she looking for your ass. <laughs> uh, that must be my cue. <laughs> yeah. So on that note. I would have today, so I right. Yeah. Yeah, so on that note, we're going to go on there. Close out the show. Like I always say every week, I appreciate the reoccurring listeners and I appreciate all the new listeners that come in and listen to the show. Um I I be appreciating when you know when you come on the junk every month. Um uh, yeah, man, we're gonna we'll um I'm about to say something, but that thought just left my fucking head just now. <laughs> Damn. But with that being said, um I appreciate y'all um, for listening to the show. Like we talked about earlier, hit up the socials, TNE Beyond on X and TikTok. And um, yeah, and I'll I see y'all next week. Peace. Boo. Oh, there. The song is coming Oh, damn, my bad. Well, I'll see y'all around this time next month. <laughs> Shit. Hit the song. Ooh.